Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Blake from the Blakeman 9 here, and I'm back doing yet another unboxing video that has something to do with my new computer. So, today, we are outside, and that is absolutely incredible. <laughs> so you get to hear the nice sound of the wind, and the wind chimes, and you get to see my shadow right there. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing. But, <laughs> so here, we're here to unbox this box that I got from New Egg. Uh, yes, you can tell I, I just taped it up to make it look like it's not opened. I did open it because I didn't know what it was. But, um, box from New Egg that I, that is my, uh, Blu-ray drive. I got a Blu-ray DVD CD reader writer thing. And this should be my 2 terabyte hard drive, WD Caviar. So we're going to be unboxing this first because that thing has a pretty box. So, yes. So, you know what, I'm, just, I'm not even going to try to fake it. I'm going to just open that. <laughs> Ooh, there's popcorn everywhere, so this is going to be... Interesting with the wind here. I don't want to litter. I don't want to be a litter bug. Let's see if I can just try and slide this out without making a mess. Woo! Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Get that out of the way. And here is my uh, Blu ray drive. So it's an Asus drive. It's a Blu ray writer 12 times. Or 12 multiplier. I don't even know. But it comes with a the power to go, I think is what it's called. Something like that, but whatever it is. Um, there's no tape on this thing, so it's pretty easy to open it. And then, there you go. <laughs> Drive. Take this stuff off. And then inside there, you can see that there's uh, installation stuff and uh, mounting hardware. Some screws. And this thing is oddly light. I don't know if uh, optical drives are usually light, but this one's extremely light. So it's made out of metal. The front's made out of plastic, and it actually looks all right. It has a nice Asus logo. Buttons very responsive. Uh, mounting hardware. So after this, I will be mounting this in the in my uh, Phantom 820 just to show you guys an example. So very very short unboxing of that. So let's go ahead and look at the hard drive. All right. So now we got the hard drive here. This thing I got from uh, Amazon. The other thing was from Newegg, but as you can see on this fancy little tag right here, it says, Focus. Western Digital Cover Black 2 terabyte. So, let's go ahead and get right to it, but I don't... Good lord. <laughs> There's tape and bubble wrap everywhere. Look on that bench right here. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Jesus. <laughs> this is obviously going pretty well, huh? I didn't feel that much. Alright, so. Gotta cut this little seal right here. And. Ta da! There we go. It's in this nice. Ooh, see, now this, this thing has mass to it, let me tell you that. Let me get that out of here. Out of the way. So we got this nice anti-static bag. Yeah, let me get my charge out. Alright, there you go. <laughs> got to put something in the middle. So I can just open it. Oh, great. I ruined that. <sighs> I need to do these unboxings more often. I suck. Alright, so. Oh. Very slim, actually. Yeah. And the last hard drive I saw was in my grandma's computer, so. I don't think I have anything to be talking about, but so there you go, two terabyte Western Digital logo right there. Oh, oh. candy. <laughs> so we got this back plate right here. It's just exposed, and then I believe this is SATA powered SATA data. Don't quote me; I'm not that smart. But <laughs> yep, there you go. So this thing is a 7200 RPM, I believe, and a 32. 64 by cash monster. So I'm gonna put this back in the bag so we can go back in the house and install this stuff in the case. Alright, see you guys in a few secs.
Alright well guys, here we are back with the Phantom 820 full tower computer case. I did an unboxing of this thing a while back, uh, maybe about a week ago. And yeah, so now we're going to kind of take a closer look at it and install this Asus drive and this WD Black Caviar in this case. So, first things first, to make sure that we're in frame, we are good. So first things first, we're going to want to open up this side door. Or this front door, rather, and we're going to want to take out this top drive slot. So, yep, uh, just look at this thing, it's a like nice metal, it's a bit plastic on the other side, but you know, it's a drive cover anyway, so who cares. So, what we're also going to want to do is you're going to want to take off the side panel. So, there you go, nice and easy to take off. I also didn't have the screws on because I'm too lazy to put this back on. So, this is um, NZXT's fancy little toolless drive installation system. You could put um, screws in there if you want to, but as you can tell, my build isn't even there yet. I don't have my motherboard yet. It's shipping right now, but until uh, I do that, I'm not really going to care whether this stuff is really all that sturdy. So, pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to insert this drive from the front of the case and slide it in backwards. So, we're going to go over here. I'm going to make sure that it's aligned up here. Just slide it in. I'm going to unlock this, which I believe you do by sliding this forward and kind of like pushing this in, I think. Like that. And then you uh, continuously push this back so you see the screws line up. Snap that in. Like that. And then you lock it. And there you go. You can't, this drive isn't going anywhere. So, ah, put this thing around. And there you go, it's installed right now. Can't push it backwards, can't push it forwards. There you go, it's nice in there, nice and sturdy. And it amazingly worked out very well. <laughs> and, let's take a closer look. See if you can see its beautifulness. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, let me move the mic a little bit here. There you guys go. Alright, so, the drive is installed. So now, second step is to install this WD Black Caviar. See now the drive bay installation on this thing is also completely toolless. So we're just going to flip this case back around. And zoom in a little bit. Horrible camera work, but <laughs> so here we go right here. This is the drive bay thingy majiggy. There we go, zoom back out. My own dumb idea. So here you go, this one's removable, which makes it easier so I don't have to open the other side. And so here is the toolless drive rail. Uh, let me tell you one thing though. The only thing I don't like about this case is these drive rails are very, very flimsy. As you can easily see by that. I don't... I'm probably going to break it. <laughs> but uh, yep. So here we go. We want to put it in this way. Set the screws line up here. And then we're just going to... Put the booty. Oh, I'm putting it on backwards. <laughs> That does not surprise me by any means whatsoever. So, here we go. Now we can put it on this way. There you go. So you slide this thing open a little bit. Oh, wait. No, I'm still doing it wrong. <laughs> Two hours later. Yeah. Okay. I got it this time. <laughs> so we're going to make it like this so it lines up with the screws on the drive and on the rail. And then we're just going to slide this stuff, the little screws into place. Uh, yep, <laughs> there you go, it's installed now. So then, um, all we gotta do is slide this thing back into its fancy little, little cage here. If I can see how to do that. Hmm, uh, oh, huh, I got it. <laughs> okay, and then we just put it in like this. Put it back in the case, and then when I um, get the rest of my motherboard and other cables, go ahead and hook that thing up and the drive with SATA power, SATA, SATA, bleh, SATA power, SATA data, and we'll be all good. All right, thank you for watching this unboxing and installation of this Asus. Asus, good lord, the camera unit. Asus. Blu-ray, DVD, and CD writer and reader. 
and the WB Black Caviar. Two terabyte drive. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Yeah.